Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 6th of February, Tuesday of the week of Epiphany 5, Howard Thurman, 1900, 1981. And to let out the end ahead of time, wait until the end of this to hear the real power. One day, a woman was brought to Jesus. She had been caught in the act of adultery. The spokesman for the group who brought her said she was caught red-handed and that according to law, she should be stoned to death. What is your judgment? Was their searching question. To them, the woman was not a woman or even a person, but an adulteress stripped of her essential dignity and worth, said Jesus, he that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone. After that, he implied any person may throw. The quiet words exploded the situation. And in the piercing glare, each man saw himself in his literal substance. In that moment, each was not a judge of another's deeds, but his own. In the same glare, the adulteress saw herself merely as a woman involved in the meshes of a struggle with her own elemental passion. Jesus, always a gentleman, did not look at the woman as she stood before him. Instead, he looked on the ground, busied himself with his thoughts. What a moment, reaching beyond time into eternity. Jesus waited, one by one. The men crept away. The woman alone was left, hearing no outcry. Jesus raised his eyes and beheld the woman. Where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? No man, Lord. Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. This is how Jesus demonstrated reverence for personality. He met the woman where she was, and he treated her as if she were already where she now willed to be. In dealing with her, he believed her into fulfillment of her possibilities. He stirred her confidence into activity. He placed a crown over her head which for the rest of her life, she would keep trying to grow tall enough to wear. And the prayer, Bernard of Clairvaux, 1091-1153. Of him who did salvation bring, I could forever think and sing, arise ye needy, He'll relieve, arise ye guilty, he'll forgive. Ask but his grace and lo, tis given. Ask, and he turns your hell to heaven. Though sin and sorrow wound my soul, Jesus, thy balm will make it whole. Amen. <laughs>